we're going to have issues that relate to unique identity, the laughing, the crying, the being happy, but as well being able to interpret another person and what they're trying to share with me. So our social coding happens in our prefrontal cortex. So I see someone and I see how they look and then I figure out, well, that means they're happy, sad, lonely, scared. I'm using visual cues, but I'm also frequently using auditory cueing, tone of voice, uh, intensity, frequency. I'm, I'm taking that and that helps me figure out what's the real meaning of the words. So I'm fine and I'm fine are two very different messages. Although they had the same wording, there was a very different intention there. And I'm counting on you to pick up the subliminal message of I'm fine uh, to mean we better do something. And the something we better do is not ignore this because it's going to impact our relationship. So that's an important feature here because what it means is some of the first signals of this dementia are not going to be memory problems. I don't have problems with memory. What I have is problems with how I relate to you, how I appear to you, how I react to you, how you react to me and what happens. And when I go to do something, um, if I make mistakes, it's like, well, I don't understand why you're getting so upset about it. Well, there's coffee all over the floor. Oh, well, yeah. What part of that? Well, I forgot to put the pot in. I mean, that's all. Which is really difficult because <laughs> you're missing what's driving me crazy. And it's like, well, I don't mean to drive you crazy. I'm sorry. I don't know what you want me to do. I made a mistake. Well, I want you to quit trying to make the coffee. Well, I was trying to help. And you want to say, well, it wasn't helpful. And this is sort of a classic sort of interaction with some of the first signs of this disease. Does it remind you of any other kind of places in your life where, you know, like you don't care enough about me to put energy into the relationship? You're just not paying attention to what you're doing. You're, if you were more attentive, if you just tried, if you would, if you cared. And so what it often causes is this sense of disconnecting and, and then a desire for the person who's trying to be supportive. Unfortunately, what we tend to do is react to that and, it just causes a lot of tension or a lot of frustration and a lot of misunderstanding. The things we want to focus in on here is not so much the language centers. The language centers are there. What we want to notice, however, is that the ability to accurately access and use the right area, which is where you get the right frequency, intensity, and volume, as the disease of the prefrontal frontal sort of continues, what we see is difficulty matching up how I sound with how I feel. 
because what has to happen is my prefrontal tells me what's going on here. And then I use my language and my in intonation and my speed of speech and my skills to match that up so that my message is a really strill, strong, clear message that's consistent. So what you might notice is, I have Beth here, so we'll do it with Beth. I really love you. You really love me? Yeah. yeah. I wanna stay with you. You wanna stay with me? Yeah. Do you wanna stay with me? Yes. Okay. Can we have sex now? <laughs> so <laughs> it's like, whoa, what happened? That felt like flat affect because what I don't have is capacity to be able to be real demonstrative. And what I was also having difficulty with is picking up on Beth's cues back to me, both visual and auditorily, that it wasn't quite working for her anymore. And she was putting a nice front on it, but yeah, boy, then I went to, you love me, I love you. Uh, you wanna be with me, I wanna be with you. And then my brain went, okay, so now we get to have sex, right? And to me, I did everything I was supposed to do because to me, I went check, check, check. Unfortunately, I'm betting, but I could be wrong. I'm not thinking Beth felt the same way. Um, and the problem is, what if we've been partners our whole life, or at least all our adult life? Or what if it was my spouse and this was happening, or a really good friend? It really, there's something really wrong, and it doesn't start this intense. With, with frontal variant, it can get that way relatively early. And so for people who are with me, it feels like you've lost me, um, and you've lost your relationship to me long before um, you lose me.